Ever since meeting Mia freshman year of college, she always stood out to me. Our first night meeting, I accidentally tripped her running for a bus. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds dangerous. So yeah, they're basically getting engaged and somebody's distant cousin in the comments. Wonderful friendship. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like what? Maybe they just didn't really think about it, but I feel like it's pretty obvious. You two are in love. What a beautiful platonic friendship. Oh my God, they're smooching each other. <laughs> what good friends. You know, like maybe they genuinely genuinely thought they were just a friends. But how do you look at that last picture and go, wow, what a lovely friendship? <laughs> you don't. We're back on the subreddit where people tell people that are in a relationship that they're just friends. And it's embarrassing but also hilarious at the same time. I hope you're bloody excited. <laughs> I can't wait for this. I have my little coffee and I'm ready to go. Reasons why you should freak me. My hair is a really soft and it'll feel nice and balled up in your fist when you take me from behind. <laughs> why don't girls ever actually talk like this. Do you even know how much of a turn on that would be? Do you? Yeah, but I'm a boy. Why would a guy post that? Have you ever heard of homosexuals? <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> what do you mean? Why would someone like that write this? Doesn't even make any sense in my man head. <laughs> like a bro, come on. Friendship between Achilles and Patrocles. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, well, we're just friends. <laughs> I hang out like this with all my friends. Just a little bit of male bonding. Totally platonic. No, but who's calling this a friendship? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> you don't even have any clothes on. You're basically doing the diddly and people are saying that it's a friendship. <laughs> Comrades, Henry Scott, 1924. Yeah, but they're taking the piss, right? <laughs> they're literally literally naked, <laughs> basically looking at each other. Yeah, two bros chilling at the beach are five feet apart because they're not gay and they were comrades. The top comment says, yo, nice ding dong, comrade. <laughs> My God, you're looking good today, comrade. But no, obviously they knew what they were doing with this. I love that even the artist was like, nah, nah, they're just a very good friends, you know? <laughs> they're just a comrades. Maybe so. But I feel like there's a little bit more to it than that My sister married her soulmate yesterday And I couldn't be more happy for them Where is her soulmate? I can only see two females Where is the man? Wow, what are people trying to achieve when they comment stuff like this? You know, they're obviously saying it on purpose Which makes it so much more annoying But when people comment stuff like that It just makes them look so so bad. Like, bro, what are you doing? <laughs> like, oh, where's the man? Oh, you really showed them. <laughs> it's so lame. Literal conversations I've had. So, are you two sisters? No, we're a couple. Are you sure you aren't sisters? <laughs> yeah, pretty sure. <laughs> oh, some people are absolute dinguses. <laughs> Why would you ever say that? <laughs> My dad just realized that the apartment his unmarried aunt has been living in for the past 20 years with her best friend Irene <laughs> has a one bedroom. He's so confused. Does Irene sleep on the couch? She's 83. She shouldn't be sleeping on the couch. Yeah, no dad. <laughs> Actually, I'm pretty sure they're more than just friends. And also they've been living together for 20 years. <laughs> Wait, but does that also mean that they've known about it for 20 years? And for 20 years, they didn't think that they could be more than just friends? <laughs> no way. <laughs> oh, dad, come on. Girl, Zelda is hot, guy. Actually, his name is a Link, girl. No, I'm gay. Yeah, like that is a thing you realize. 
guys. Like, yeah, thank you for trying to correct me, but I actually knew what I was saying. I love reading about men in history. Like, unfortunately, he never found a wife. His elaborate scarf collection sold for $1.2 million in 2011. He and his male friend Chauncey, with whom he shared a bed, died within weeks of one another. They were known for their dinner parties. <laughs> but yeah, unfortunately, he never found a wife. <laughs> yeah, maybe he didn't want one. Why do so many young people say they're bisexual? Honest? Confused? Influenced by celebrities? We talked to three youngsters. What, to try and figure out why so many young people say that they're bisexual? Maybe because they are? <laughs> what do you mean? Why is this in the paper? It's not a new concept. Acting like people haven't been bisexual forever. <laughs> what do you mean? Just because you don't like it or for some weird reason it makes you uncomfortable doesn't mean that it's a news article. Are you in a relationship? Yes. Is it a bad boy or an ideal son-in-law? Well, it's not an ideal son-in-law, but an ideal daughter-in-law. Oh, what do you mean? Surely your sisters. No, no, no. You both play on the same team. And also, why the hell was the first thing they said, is it a bad boy? Like, hey, I'm here with a nice guy weekly. Are you dating a bad boy? Is his name Chad? Laughing my ass off, that character isn't gay. Y'all are just projecting the character. Yeah, um, I'm not so sure about that. The top comment, she's the perfect example of do I want to be her or be with her? I'm not so sure. What if you were a girl and I were a girl and historians recorded us as having been very good friends? Oh my god, what are you saying? <laughs> what do you mean? Do you maybe mean more than friends? <laughs> yeah, I don't think we need wholesome memes today. Biggest gal pals. <laughs> sure, gal pals. And nothing more. Oh my god, that's amazing. So they literally put that in there. My best friend was going through their old yearbooks. Yeah, gal pals. Wink, wink. <laughs> I'm sure that's all we are. Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Daphne, I can't kill you. I thought we'd become friends. <laughs> Starts making out. <laughs> I've never played Assassin's Creed. I don't even know how, but yeah, I just sort of avoided it somehow. Unintentionally. My grandma saying that she thinks Aunt Cecilia died a virgin because she never introduced a boyfriend to the family. Aunt Cecilia who moved to France with her also unmarried best female friend and lived with her for 40 years. Yeah, grandma, what are you talking about? <laughs> are you joking? Is it one of those situations where they just feel like they can't accept it? Because there's no way you wouldn't be able to catch on. Surely. <laughs> I'd bloody hope not. Friends Dancing 1955. Friends. <laughs> Thank you for watching, guys. It felt so good to be back on this subreddit. The comment of the day today goes to Kristen Hull. If Vincey films a video while wearing a Simpsons fedora, then all of my hopes and dreams would have come true. Can you get a Simpsons fedora? Simpsons fedora. You must be able to. If a Simpsons fedora doesn't already exist, we need to create it. That'd be a dream come true for me as well. Yeah, I'm gonna do some extensive research, Kristen. I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. Thank you again for all your support, guys. It means so much to me. If you want to follow me on Instagram, feel free. You can become a member if you want exclusive videos. But yeah, make sure you have a beautiful rest of your day and I'll see you tomorrow.